we're just finishing up the sanding. We gotta sand everywhere where there's gonna be paint. Remember, if it's not sanded, if she ain't sanded, she ain't sticking. So make sure we, we uh, do our panel here. I just sprayed a little guide coat on, and once we got everything scuffed up, we're ready for paint. Okay, two coats of uh, epoxy primer. Our epoxy primer is nice and dry. Time to seal up all of our joints. Now, you know, you want to make sure that you've got some epoxy primer down first. That way it gets into all the little grooves and everything like that. And basically, we just use a seam sealer. Now, make sure you got a roll of paper towel and a little bit of thinner. I'll show you what I do with the thinner. So you don't really want to get it on here. You want to force it into the crack, but we're not putting on mountains of it because we, we want to wipe it off. If you got too much on there, then you're just going to spread it all over the place and then you're cleaning it up. So you, you can use your finger right now. Now if you have real tight gloves, you can, but not, nothing beats the finger. And you just give it a little shot of uh, thinner. And then you just come right along there like that and that'll feather it out beautifully. Just like that. Now, if you go along and you're thinking to yourself, ah, oh, I need more. You can add more onto there now, but I would recommend letting it set up first, put it on another coat. Finger does wash off. Now if you have some uh, some rust pits that you kind of want to cover up a little bit, this caulking does a pretty nice job of that too. Just use your finger and spread it out and it'll kind of cover up some of them uh, deep pits that if, it, you know, if they're really bugging you. Okay, we're going to continue with this. I don't want to bore you. Got a lot of caulking to do. All these seams here, down the edge on the door kick. And there's some spots back here where the, the uh, cedar has broken away, gotten old. So we'll do it all up. And then after that's set up, two coats of um, base and then a couple coats of clear. And the floor is done. Just inspecting, making sure everything's okay. Now, let's say you screwed up here and you had a little bit of an edge and you weren't too happy with it. All you have to do is just put a little bit of, I just use a wax and grease remover, just put a little bit on your finger and you can work it out. 
there's always time to repair. Now, in this situation, I'm going to be painting this, and since I would end up masking this off later, you want to make sure that your seam sealer is all painted. If you only paint half of it, and if you tape, well, let's just say that if you tape over top of a seam sealer that has been painted or primed, the tape, when you pull it off, peel it off. So that's why I'm just going to put a little bit of paint in here. I'll just re-sand this and then paint the rest of the, uh, the door jams. Okay? Simple. We've left the paint dry. It doesn't take very long for base to dry. And now I'm just sanding out some areas to kind of make this look a little oldish. I think it looks a lot better than just straight up. It'll match the rest of the vehicle. And as soon as we get the desired look, put a couple coats of clear on, and we're done. Clear is on, floor is done. Okay, we're continuing to prep here so that we can uh, finish the inside. Now the whole idea here is I just, you know, it's got some good patina on here, a little bit of rust. I'm going to sand it down with 400 grit and then I'm just going to put clear coat on it. Areas that were really bad, like this, I'm going to blend in a little yellow, try and match it up best that we can. Now, you could use a scuff cloth, but if you use a piece of sandpaper, it'll cut the paint a lot better and leave a, like it'll take off some of the rust, any of the staining or anything like that. And just do a little better job for you. You can always finish up with a scuff cloth to get on any of the spots you missed, but for the most part, hit her with some 400 grit. We'll wipe her down with some wax and grease, and we'll clear coat this, blend this in. We're all done. Still lots of work to do. up the dash. Now we're not doing anything um, when it comes to painting on the dash, just clear coat. So I want to make sure that I uh, cover it up so that we don't get any overspray on there. There's going to be a lot of uh, epoxy primer and a lot of overspray from the paint. So pretty simple. Throw some plastic down, take it off and ready to clear.
I sprayed epoxy primer on everything that was bare metal. Anything that was uh, still in good shape, we just left that so that it's a little easier to blend. Don't forget to make her look a little older, wore out. Just taking a little bit of 400 grit here, just uh, roughing up some of the little areas that may have gotten more. All right, ready for some clear coat. And you can see the final product looks great.